So we have MP Ruby Sahota here with us today. Ruby, uh, li the Liberal Party is known to be the party of the immigrants. So what message do you have for the immigrants here, specifically in Ontario and in Brampton? Um, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, we're known for the party of immigrants, not just by luck or chance. It's because our immigration policies, uh, whenever a Liberal Party is in government, have been uh, the most favorable for immigrants. We know and we understand that this is what our economy needs. Uh, Canada's growth and development depends on us being uh, fair-minded in the immigration process, allowing people to be able to make Canada home and so with our new announcement of immigration levels and our different programs and streams you continue to see that. I know there will be more announcements to come in the new year as well. Um, the immigration minister has promised to do an overhaul of the immigration system so although COVID has created some um, uh, some slowdowns. We're trying to work through that and uh, hopefully you're going to see a lot of good announcements next year uh, once we're able to work through those backlogs so that we can not only provide the same programs we have in a better capacity but also new ideas, fresh ideas uh, in ways we can get uh, immigrants here and working in the fields that, of their choice. I know this has been a big issue in the past so you've heard an immigration announcement just recently by Minister Sean Fraser as well of funding and wanting to work with the provinces. I know BC has made a really great announcement so they can get healthcare workers working. I hope Ontario will also follow in their footsteps as well because that's what we really need here. Um, and uh, in my office, we're always there to help and serve and uh, help people work through any issues they might have uh, when it comes to immigration too. But I'm sure uh, many have come to come to this business as well. And just like there's so many, I encourage people to take a careful look at uh, what Canada has to offer. Uh, I think Canada is one of the best countries in the world. And uh, but I do still urge newcomers to understand what programs they're applying for, um, what school, if they're a student, carefully study the school that you're applying to. Take a look at your applications before they're submitted. Um, have a greater understanding, because I do feel we see a lot of unfortunate circumstances when people get into the hands of agents that are not telling them the full picture and the full truth of the situation. So don't trust somebody to pick your courses for you. This is your life. This is your future. You should understand fully and you should be in control of which direction you want it to go in. And I think if you are coming from a position where you are making the choices for yourself, you're going to be in a very good situation. Um, it's when you lose control because you don't know what's happening. That is when uh, a lot of immigrants, I find, fall into um, very bad situation. So that's always my suggestion. Um, also, I, I have to say, you know, I know I don't want this to be an, a negative news story, but the penalties are very harsh when you make mistakes like that. Uh, and whether they're intentional or unintentional, um, at some point uh, it can cost you your future. So be very careful go when going through the immigration process because it breaks my heart um, when things like that happen. And other than that, you know, we are very welcoming and we want um, many people um, with bright futures to come here and uh, make Canada their home.